Let's start with your name. My name is Leroy Reese. How are we doing tonight? Let's go ahead and address this white elephant. I am Officer Leroy Reese. And what that being said is that uh, in the state of Texas, man, they think about making weed legal. That is weird to me that they make weed legal in the state of Texas. That is so weird that weed will be legal in the state of Texas. And the reason being, there's going to be secondhand smoke around everywhere. How can I do my job if I'm high? I'll be on a traffic stop, right? And I pull you over. I say, hey, let that window down, boy. I see it, let that window down. Let the window down. Oh, oh my God. That's some, oh man. Oh, that's, that's some good stuff. Shovel. Then they come and he want to go home. Do you even know I pulled you over? I don't know. I don't know either. But my thing is, if I pull you over, and your weed smell bad, that's not a good sign. But you gotta have that good, good stuff. You gotta have the good stuff that uh, I'm going through a divorce, I smell that stuff, I turn around and remember off my wife again. I mean that good stuff that uh, I be like at work and I say, you know what? I just got here, but that good stuff makes me say, you know, I wanna go home. I mean that good stuff that I ain't never been to the moon. But you know what? I'm high right now. Woo, that's some good stuff. Yes, but it's uh here in Texas, man, it is hot, but especially here in Houston, man. This heat is terrible here in Houston. It is so hot, don't you hate it on Sunday morning when you go to church and the air is out? And Sister Jones is sitting up beside you. She falls asleep. She leaned up against me and said, hey woman, it's hot, you need to get up off me. She's gonna lean up, she's gonna look at me, size me up, and do it again. I said, oh my God, but this time her wig shifted. And I'm going like, ooh, it scared me, I ain't gonna lie, it scared me. So, I pull my taser out. I put it on low, I am a Christian police officer. So I'm sitting there, I tased her, being stupid. She jumped up, oh, the devil got me. The preacher said, oh, I'm scared. He said, but lose that woman, her wig, and start smoking and everything. Man, this thing I know, ooh, set the fire sprinklers off. Man, everybody got wet, man. They said, you know what, you know how to get the people, you know how to get the people baptized. I said, yeah, that's just what I do. And then, man, the crazy things be happening out here on the streets, man. I uh dude going down the highway, going hundred miles, going hundred, he's going 105 miles an hour. I said, hey sir, you speed on this highway, you're going 105 miles an hour. He gonna look at me. Uh well, I thought 105 miles was the speed limit. I said, no, sir. You know what? That's why I'm gonna pull over the white boys. And I'm relaxing them both by accident. But uh, that's my time. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah, uh, good, very good. You have very, very confidence. And uh, yes. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, well, it was good. Um, I, was, I was okay. I didn't laugh a lot. I was just being honest. But um, I just think, like, uh, we're going to give you a yellow one. Like, you know, maybe you can just try again and see how it goes. But I did like your confidence, though. I appreciate it. So, so with the yellow, she's saying that take a few minutes, get back in line, and come on back and give us more. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, like, I just can't stop smiling. 
But smiling, I can come in handy sometimes because, like, my partner, he be like saying, "Freeze, you're on the wrist. Come out your hands up." I'm like, "Screw you, cop." I say, "Freeze, come out your hands up." They say, "Oh yeah, let's let's go lock in some banana nut bread." <laughs> Yeah, and then on my job, I'm just a, uh, I drive a brand new black and white with the word police in big letters on the side, right? But then at the back it says pre-K. <laughs> <laughs> As a pre-K officer, man, it's, it's, getting, it's getting rough out here. You know, this young man, he got beat down in class by the teacher. I feel so bad, I feel so bad for the little boy. Because now he has PTSD. He was saying, Mommy, Mommy, I can't, I can't sleep at night. And she said, Why not, son? I see teachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, on my job, we are highly trained for a school shooter, and we had equipment as well. I keep an 80 pound ballistic vest in the trunk of my car. Did y'all hear that? I said, 80 pound ballistic vest in the trunk of my car. Ready for a school shooter. When a school shooter come in and start following through rounds, that's when I jump to action and say, Shh, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I'm just joking. I'm like, hold up, Mr. School Shooter. Okay. So, I need to go up to my car and get my 80 pound ballistic vest. Can you hold up for a minute? He'd be like, okay, that sounds fair. Cool. I'll tell you what, we're going to be back here in what, about three minutes. So, let's synchronize our watches. And uh, in the meantime, you can go down there to the lounge for target practice. I see three math teachers going there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I appreciate y'all for coming out. Uh, that's all I have at this time. Hope y'all have a blessed day. So I'm going to exercise my quote and give you a green pass and invite you to come on back. <laughs>